And so it's time for the boss of Magic Crafters. Let's confront Blowhard. For a boss stage, this one's kinda weird. It's packed with treasure, 400 gems and one dragon to go after. But even with that much treasure in it, it seems pretty short overall. It feels shorter to me than the boss stages we've dealt with thus far. I love that sound. So satisfying. The way certain chests just explode and shower gems everywhere, I love it. In general, I just really like satisfying pickup sound effects in video games. I think my personal overall favorite is probably the Bolt Collection sound from the Ratchet and Clank series. It's just such a good sound. So we have a door here that we can't do anything with just yet. And we also have Blowhard. He'll send storm clouds after us to try and zap us. When he comes down for a landing, that's your chance to burn him. He ran away after one hit, but at least he was nice enough to open the door for us. And with that we've reached the druid portion of the stage. Make sure to let the platform come to a complete stop before you try moving onward. And we have our one Durgan of the stage, Altair. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Uh... I'm out of here. <laughs> Not the voice I'd expect of a hooded assassin. Again, be sure to let the platform completely stop. You crazy druids and you're messing around with the terrain. So moving this way continues the stage, but there's more treasure to be had back this way. We also get a whirlwind in case we need to get back up here quickly from falling down. And time for another fight with Blowhard. Are you coming down for a landing or not? That was kind of silly. I guess if you're standing where he wants to land, he won't do so. One more hit and we're done with Blowhard. So, let's see. 400 gems, one dragon. We're done. So, yeah, for a boss stage, that one seems really short overall. Not only that, but Blowhard himself is pretty easy to deal with. Hey, put that down. There are times that Blowhard can kind of catch you off guard a little bit. He'll throw one of his storm clouds and you might not see it coming in time. But yeah, overall, he really isn't that hard to deal with. So with that, we're almost done with Magic Crafters. After a quick refreshing pause, we'll tackle Crystal Flight. So, back in a moment. So with everything else taken care of here in Magic Crafters, all that's left is a nice relaxing Crystal Flight. So, let's go for it. 
Overall, this is one of the easier flight stages. Technically, I think it's the first one they really expected you to find. Things start off with a nice colorful set of rings. Very pretty. Next up we have arches. And a ferry nice enough to tell us where we need to go. More or less, this particular flight stage directs you exactly where you need to go. Time might seem kind of tight, but you should be fine overall. Here it's easy to get distracted by the chest. Concentrate on the arches. Next up, chase the planes. By the time you finish going after the planes, you should be right in line to go after the chests. With the planes being so close together, it also gives you a nice time bonus taking them all down. It should get you back past 10 seconds again. And there we go! Crystal Flight is complete. 300 gems to our name. And so with that, we've completed Magic Crafters. Everything here, we've got it. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time as we head to Beastmakers. Until then, fare thee well.